Libra, welcome. This is your reading for the month of May. Let's get started. All right, my name is Magical Butterfly Spirit. I'm going to go ahead and first get an angel number for you before we move on to your tarot. How are you guys doing this beautiful May day? If you're watching this on May the 1st, thank you for being here, watching it the day that it was launched, released, published. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so the number 101 is your angel number for the month of May. Starting over, intelligence, dynamics, making a difference, failures, personal or spiritual development. Happiness is linked to self-expression, growth and experience. Learning from failure is key. Happiness is real, possible and around. Understand this process and the pursuit of it. Joy is fluid. It's in the little things and the big ones. Fails are fun. Start fresh. So if you see the angel number 101 during the month of May, you know the universe is talking to you. Well, the universe is always talking to us, but you know, that's a little special head nod for you in particular, Libra. We also have Morgan the Fae and Nike watching over us over this month of May. All right, so let's get started with your tarot cards. I'm going to be using the Modern Witch Tarot deck. This is what the box looks like. If anybody's interested, it's a very popular deck. So um, for those who watch tarot, I'm sure you guys are familiar with this deck. All right, let's see what we have for you. How you guys doing? Um, not well. <laughs> not well. For some reason, you feel this need to be in solitude. Coming out of April, going into May. It's an interesting energy because you're forcing yourself to into isolation. It's like you're protecting... All right, so for those who watch my channel, I'm, I'm going to get a little personal. Um, I suffer from chronic depression. So um, this is what is giving, not the depression part, but the self-isolation part. When I'm having one of those episodes, I tend to want to isolate myself from other people. And I tell myself I'm doing it to protect others. And that's what this is feeling like it feels like you're isolating yourself to protect others from your energy libra are you okay sweetheart hmm. they're also telling me there's another energy as well so this is for some people who are watching let's see what else You had to make a decision about sorry for checking the camera you had to make a decision about something or someone that you cared about and it's ripped you apart or is ripping you apart or will rip you apart it depends on where you are in your timeline on this close family member close friend um, I just heard the word associate like maybe a business partnership also, um, I love her. You might have been in a non-committal situation ship that you broke free from or will break free from again, depends on where you are in your timeline. If none of this resonating with you, this is not your reading. So if this situation about the situation ship or, or, distancing yourself or um, cutting someone off from your life or protecting yourself you know setting up boundaries if none of that is resonating with you Libra this is not your reading this is not your Libra reading but if you're still here and you're like hell yeah you're right on point then uh, let's continue because this is a very targeted reading like it doesn't feel broad <laughs> it feels like for a handful of people Oh, sorry, I just realized I didn't read off the cards. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit, Three of Cups, Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, Two of Wands, and then I just added the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Libra, it's okay to come out and play <laughs> in the month of May. When I think of May, I think of the the maypole and like everybody dancing around the maypole, tying the ribbon around it. You're you're not having that this May, are you? You like fun and entertainment be down. Why is this Libra? This is this is reminding me of Coachella. Every time I see it, I think of Coachella or a um, outdoor concert. What is going on? Because the reason why I'm I'm like, what is going on, right? It's because the energy does not feel the way the cards is reflecting. The energy feels like you want to go out. You want to socialize. And yet, you're keeping to yourself. Some of you are doing it because you're studying, um, planning, um, working on something. For example, myself, I started a business. That's where I've been. The last couple of weeks, if you haven't noticed, I have not posted anything. It's because I've been working on um, my candle business. And that's taking up more energy than I thought it would. Like actual spiritual energy. More so than physical. Because I've been like really exerting my, my intentions into it. Why am I sharing this story? What are you working on, Libra? Something that you're having doubts about. I'm also picking up an online relationship or a communication with someone. Um, again, that's non-committal. You wanted to commit to something and they did not, or they wanted to commit to something and you did not. You're having regrets. Also, you're hiding yourself um, for physical reasons. Like maybe you're sick. Maybe there's something, um, you know, when we were teenagers and you got your first pimple, you're like, oh, don't look at me. Like maybe there's something like that where you're hiding a physical attribute that you don't want people to see. Like you're waiting for this glow up. And you're like, until this glow up happens, I'm going to keep to myself. Hmm. How's that working out for you? Because it feels lonely. Like you're telling yourself it's all good, but you're, you want to socialize, but also don't. And the reason why I say that, right? If it was just a hermit cart. I'll be like, okay, you're in your own bag. You're, you're working on your own thing. But no, there's too many social elements here on this table that's telling me that you're, like you're missing out on an opportunity or something. And I'm not just picking up on that like intuitively. I'm looking at the Three of Cups and the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Like, and not to mention the Queen of Pentacles, but that's something a little bit different. Um, that's more home life and business we'll get into that but this 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 little nugget right here right this little corner of the table is given this energy that you are purposely missing out on opportunities because you feel you're not complete or whole so let's go back to the business example right I started a business and I'm like I need my labels to look just so I need my candles to look just so I need um, my website to look just so and and everything is like, because I'm putting all these standards on my own stuff, it's like my own stuff. It's not that no one else is telling me this, it's me. It's limiting myself from opportunities because there's things I could be doing. I could be promoting more. I could be, um, I don't know, going door to door. Like there's so many different things that you could do, right? And I'm not doing it because I'm putting these standards onto myself which is blocking the limitations and that's what this is feeling like like it's there whatever it is that you're contemplating or working on or keeping yourself isolated from the opportunity is there but because of whatever hang up you're having right now again when I talked earlier about like 
putting myself in isolation, that's what you're doing. You're putting yourself in isolation. And they're having me harp on this more because it feels like someone needs to hear this. Like, this is not, first off, I just heard it's not your fault. Um, someone needed to hear that. But also, it's not necessary for you to do this. Like, for example, I'll give you another example for me. I did not want to do this reading because my nails <laughs> are not done. It's like a week and a half past <laughs> expiration date. And I was thinking to myself, I'll just wait till this weekend to record because my nails will be done by then. But I was like, no, just do it. It's been two weeks already that you haven't put up anything. Just go ahead and do it. They'll be, they'll be okay with your nails. And if anybody nitpicks about your nails, then, you know, that's their issue, not your own. But I was going to limit myself in doing this video. And then for all I know, this video goes viral and it launches my channel. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out. I'm just, I'm just giving you an example of you're limiting yourself on something that could escalate into something bigger because of your own dictations of what it should look like or what it should be or how you should present yourself to the world. Like maybe you're thinking about um, online dating, because again, something about online is very pre prevalent here. Um, you're thinking about online dating, but you're like, I need to lose 30 pounds before I start online dating. Meanwhile, the person of your dreams is waiting for you with your fluffy self, but you don't know that because you're not putting yourself out there. Somebody back could be hurting or have a scar on their back. Maybe they have back surgery or some kind of surgery that affected their back because it's the things that you pick up on when you're reading. Um, as I pick up this card, there's like this, this line. I don't, I don't even think you'll see it on camera. But there's this line that I could feel like a, a dent in the card. And I was just playing with it because it felt like it meant something. It has something to do with your spine. Um, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Um, but if you are someone having back issues go to the doctor because there's relief um, you might need an MRI again I'm not a doctor I'm not a doctor I'm not a doctor but there's relief there's there's relief like you're suffering you don't need to suffer all right all right let me get another set of um, tarot deck let's see if I get a different message for you Libra Different tarot decks t talks differently to me. So that's why I went and grabbed a different deck. Instead of the one I was initially going to get. This is the kids tarot deck. Tarot for kids. If anybody's interested. Alright. Um, you can find... Huh. I think I'm going to start selling tarot cards on my website. They just told me. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Be on the lookout for that. I just heard myself say you could find this deck on my website. But I'm like, no, you can't. <laughs> but I was about to say it. Like, but you, you can't. So maybe that's something they want me to get into. Holy Spirit be talking to me. All right. Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands, Six of Coins, Libra, if you're going into week, um, uh, okay, they don't want me to time, they don't want me to time stamp it, they don't. <laughs> 
I was going to tell you exactly when this is going to happen, but they don't want me to timestamp it. But within May, within May, right? Within May, um, if you continue on this path, you could miss out on an opportunity versus, which I think is going to happen because I feel the energy shift. If you step out of whatever comfort zone that you're clinging on to, <laughs> that I'm going to stay in my bed and clutch my my comforter and watch Netflix all day energy if you get out of that which by the way that's fine but not all the time Libra <laughs> not all the time all right so let's just, let's say you get out of bed today and you go about and you do the things you need to do you socialize you network you hang out you um, do the online net dating thing or maybe it's online networking but whatever it is that you're holding up on that you know you should be doing if you do it it's going to bring more opportunity in which you're going to be able to capitalize on and it's going to be a balance a balance and also um you benefit it's like they're saying like okay so going back to my business example um i would benefit because i hope you get paid <laughs> but the, the the customers will benefit from the products i sell right um so you would benefit from um I don't know, going out on the dates and the person you're dating will benefit from you, <laughs> your energy, your cosmic vibes. So it's like this energy of like you're holding back, but what you don't realize is what you're holding back can benefit other people. That includes your job. And if you're holding back at work for whatever reason, stop. But they want me to be careful of how I say that. If you did, if you've been doing mid work, you should step it up a little bit, just a little. Um, if you're intentionally like doing the bare minimum, what's it called, quiet quitting, where you're just doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing, and nothing more, nothing less. They're saying tweak it up just a little bit, because somebody is watching what you do, and it could lead to an opportunity of I don't know a promotion or more money in your pocket move to a different apartment that you like better you know maybe there's a manager that's like contemplating laying off there's three people on the list and your name's on the list and if you tweak it a little bit more just show a little bit more initiative or come in a few minutes early just just something just little things that people would notice then you might get crossed off that list but then again, maybe you're trying to get on that list because <laughs> you're like, you're done. You're just waiting for them to fire you. So, I mean, if you're, that's if that's the case, then just ignore what I just said. <laughs> Magician on the bottom of the deck. We have the sun in reverse. Ooh, Libra. What is going on, Libra? I notice when I leave you guys for a little bit, not just Libra, but like in general, the collective, I come back and I'm like, what happened? <laughs> we were good <laughs> before I left. And then I come back and it's like, oh, <laughs> the energy is off. Why the sudden reverse? Oh. You're thinking about walking away from somebody or something and they're advising you not to. I think I was talking about that job earlier and that's why the sudden reverse came out when I was like, maybe you want to quit or you want them to fire you. Um, you, I just heard the word stay put. So if you're thinking about moving, um, yes and no, right? Move, but not now. Stay put. No, not the opportunity. There's something where you're trying to move ahead, and now they're saying that now is not the time. It's a collective reading, so you know it's gonna be different for everybody. Get a personal reading if you want more details, but that's what I'm hearing. I'm gonna be moving on to the wishes rooms and oracle and charms as well for you guys. So stick around for that. Also, if you like this reading, please subscribe to the channel, like, 
share oh my god share share this video spread it <laughs> like pollen <laughs> spread it so others may watch it as well all right hmm. yeah you're walking away from a person or a strong community And whoever this is or whoever they are, they really are into you. So why are you thinking about walking away from them? Oh, that's right. We were talking about non-committal before, right? So maybe either you don't want to commit or they don't want to commit. And you're like, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> What's this, salamanders? Salamander might be significant for you. Sticks as well. If you're the type of person who collects sticks, <laughs> like, you know, when you wake up, not wake up, when you um taking a walk, that's what I meant to say, and you're like, mine, mine, mine. Like when you walk into the park and you just, like see these really nice sticks and you take them home. I don't know why I'm talking about this. A wand. Um, there, somebody watching should create a wand. This is so random. Libra, your reading is random. <laughs> your reading is so out random. I don't know. It's like I'm, I'm um, gibberish, really. Like I'm saying gibberish. But I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. I hope this means something to you. Judgment. In the reverse. As well as the Eight of Swords. You worry about a project that um, people are going to judge you on and you're like, oh my God, if they don't like it, that's the end of times. Let's find out. Will they like it? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, they will. Not only will they like it, but it's going to bring you prosperity. Libra, why are you hiding? I was saying in the beginning of the May, you feel like hiding. Okay, let's not do that because things are in your favor regarding this and you're like, the self-doubt is strong to the point where you're giving yourself reasons or not to do it. Um, now that I think about it, Libra, you're the scales, right? And we talked about, I think it was the two of wands. Oh, I should have kept them. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. The two of wands. We had an eight of swords twice. Look at that. <laughs> Had the eight of swords twice. Um, you're being guided to take your time on every decision that you make during this month. This is not a time to be... Um, you're quick with itself. That was just a channel message. You're quick with itself. This is not a time for that. This is a time for patience and self-reflection and all things. So don't make rash decisions based on your emotions or timing. Because you may feel like I have to do this now because they just show me um, a checkout. You know when you put something in your cart online and then it says like, only two left and you're like oh my god I gotta buy it now you know like no you don't <laughs> no you don't if it's meant for you it will find you and that's the energy that's um you're gonna be going into May with Libra is this energy of 
If it's meant for me, it will happen. Do your due diligence in all your decisions, especially if you need to sign a contract. Yeah. And especially when it comes to money. They want you to save as much as you can because there's something coming on the horizon. Um, they're showing me another card. Ace of Wands, they said. There's something coming on the horizon. Could do with home life. Um, spirituality as well. but And travel. And you're going to need your coins. You're going to need all your coins. So save as much of it as possible. May, June, May and June. Save as much as you can in May and June. Like as much as you can. I'm seeing, they, um, they're showing me 50%, but um, let's be realistic here. Spirit, <laughs> they, like they really want you to save 50%. I'm hearing like save, 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 save. I don't know what's coming on the horizon in August. I have a feeling it's, um, ex social economical with the current climate, but, um, I'm not trying to get into that in this reading. So, yeah. But save, 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 save. Do not spend. If you're spending money, it's to make money. But if it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. So that's the advice they're giving you as far as that. Let's go into money while we're talking. Aren't you a little fire starter at the office? <laughs> All right. We have work smart, odd jobs, manifesting. Hell Yeah. The rebel and the office. First, first off, um, I'm gonna have to do a <laughs> what's the gossip on you at your job reading. I was planning to do something like that anyway, but Libra, they talking about you at work. Um, first off, you're doing amazing at work. For those who are not doing mid work, but those who are like act actually putting in the work, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. But because you're doing a great job, um, there's some people at your job that doesn't like it, which is interesting because it's, um, you're showing them off. Like if, if it's like, if Libra could do it, why can't you do it? Energy. And they don't want to be put in that position. And there's also an envious, um, coworker or, um, I just heard subservient spirit. We don't use those words in 2024. Um, <laughs> but if you're an office manager or a supervisor or lead team leader, you know where I'm going with this, right? And there's someone in your team or underneath you. And I say that like, and I'm... I literally mean like underneath you. Like it looks like a like a tear. It's or beneath you is a better way to say it. Woo. Beneath you. But they're trying to be at your level. And they can't. They just can't. And they try really hard. And because they can't reach your level, they they try to pull you down to theirs with the gossip and all the things that they say and do that irritates the crap out of you. You Libra, you need to stay on your business. You need to stand on business because there, you can't let this person bring you down. You can't because you are doing all kinds of amazing things. You really are in your own way. Like you are putting a stamp on your job title in your own unique way. Like once you leave that job, they're going to be looking at you like, man, Libra used to do this. Or I hope we could find someone as good as Libra. Or I don't know how Libra was able to manage all these things. And you're doing it in stride. Like it doesn't feel overwhelming. Maybe that's that mid energy I was getting it because it feels like um, you're just doing the bare minimum, but your bare minimum is better than everybody else. 
better. Huh. Libra. Good job at the workplace. I was talking earlier about um, putting cars on my website. I just got a notification from we make it, we make playing cars.com like an email from them. Okay. Spirit. I get it. I should put cars on my website. <laughs> I will do that. All right. So, um, manifesting, you have all the tools you need to increase your income, all jobs, consider creating multiple streams of income and work smart. Are you making it harder than it has to be? Something sometimes the solutions are simple. It's going back to the tarot cards of the energy I was picking up. But also they're saying you're manifesting something. Remember, I, I was saying earlier, you're in a reflective state. You're definitely manifesting something bigger than where you are. I also feel like initiation into a... <laughs> I'm going to say the word cult, but it's not a cult. It's just a group of um, consumers <laughs> that's really into something. It's reminding me of um, Makes These Sense. Is it called Makes These Sense? Or no, Sensi. Sensi? I don't know. But it's that it's that, um, that company that sells wax melts that um, people are questioning, is it a pyramid scheme or not? And I fell down a rabbit hole on YouTube. I was watching videos on it, and it's 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 interesting it's interesting and first off this is a warning for you to not get into a type of ml mlm position as another stream of income so that's one two your target audience is a very niche audience so it may seem like your reach is small, but within that that um, within that circle is like it's exploding. It's gonna be exploding like pop, 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 pop. Like I'm seeing fireworks within this ball, but it's gonna stay within this ball. So you may feel like, oh, I can't. Um, like maybe you're trying to reach tens of thousands of people but that's not your that's not your bag your bag is in the thousand of people that you could reach like that's your bag there's actually a article called a thousand true fans if you want to google it which is it talks about if you had a thousand true fans that's all you need to sustain a a living and this was written uh, 15 years ago. I don't know. Um, God, has it been that long? Yeah, I think it has. I think it's been about 15 years it was written. It's still relevant. Um, the price points that he's talking about, of course, fluctuation because of inflation. But ideally, is if you have a thousand true fans, right? And they're always buying your items. Or going to your concerts. Because he, he gave the example of if you're a band. And you might not have the fame of a big rock band. But you traveling town to town. And you, you're going to. you having those um, concerts in the clubs. That sustains you. Where you could have. Like you don't have a, have a 9 to 5 job. Because you're doing these concerts. Because you have your core fans. And that's what a thousand true friends really is. It's just it's your core group of people. It doesn't have to be a thousand. It could be five hundred. It could be a hundred. Well, it has to be more than a hundred. But still, it's like it's basically like a core group of people that supports you, and that's what it feels like. It feels like there's going to be a core group of people that supports your multiple stream of income that you've been contemplating on doing, or are doing, or will do. Maybe you will make tarot cards because, again, that, that email was from makingplaincards.com. So maybe you will make tarot cards. Maybe you will start a spiritual business because there's spirituality in this. Okay? Luck as well. So, hmm, told you there was gossip at the workplace. So, yeah. 
Anything you do now will be very prosperous for you. Use money, magical spells to increase wealth and prosperity. Speaking of which, I am doing a... Um, don't go anywhere. I have more for you. Libra. But I am doing a soft launch on a money spell kit that I have on my website. You can go there right now, magicalbutterflyspirit.com to get a pre-order. The pre-order is a lower cost than when it's officially launched in June. I'm currently making the kit now. This is one of the items in the kit. It's a money jar that will be available. Um, there'll be candles as well, other trinkets, but you get a sneak peek as to what is one of the items in because I'm trying to keep it as surprising as possible. But if you're interested, go to magicalbutterflyspirit.com the purchase at the pre-order price and um there's also free shipping if you sign to the mailing list so that's a good deal if i do say so myself that might actually be too good of a deal <laughs> but really actually i'm going to keep this up here you should definitely go check that out libra i'm feeling that vibe for you libra i'm really feeling this vibe that you're going to be um working on and manifesting some magical things so you need magical support in order to do that i'm get looking for my charms that's why i'm looking sound a little distracted Whew. It. i know it's huge like how did i miss that but i did because i'm in my closet and i'll be honest it was hidden on a clothes <laughs> so <laughs> that's how come i can't find it I do my tarot readings in my closet. I just heard someone ask that. I set myself up in my closet, which I think I'm telling you this because you could, like, as a, like, you could do it anywhere type of thing. Like, whatever you're trying to get into, you could figure it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to get done. I'm telling myself that as well as you, Libra. All right. Wishes room. This is Wishes Rules, right? Yep. All right. Wishes Rules. Oh, I got some charms in there as well. Ooh. Ooh, got a lot of charms. I don't know if I'm going to be pulling more charms out of the box if I have all these charms I said pull something okay I'll pull something that all right what do we have here blank fairies If you stay committed to what you're working on, you're going to bring in a lot of prosperity into your life. This prosperity will have a long-standing investment into your future because it's something that will build on top of each other. They're showing me Lego blocks. So like one thing, build on top of the other and just ever expanding. We're kind of like an empire, but it's... um. For some, it's not going to be a, a huge mega empire, but it will be a nice, sustainable empire where you just don't have to worry about money like you used to. And if that's your goal, then keep going. Like, not everybody' goal is to be a multimillionaire. Like, some people' goals are to be a thousandaire. And that's a-okay like there's nothing wrong with that that's actually a great um sustainable goal to have like people always see like when you see a vision board and they put like a jet on their vision board it doesn't have to be a jet <laughs> you know you can still travel and have fun it doesn't have to be a jet if that's what you're aiming for a whole different story of course then that's what you're aiming for but i'm just talking about this energy we're picking up where like if you're the type of person who's like I just want to chill 
I want to just do my thing, make some more money, but don't be, I don't want to be stressed about it. Then what you're currently working on is going to bring that in where it's going to help you manifest what you need to manifest, do it, do the things it needs to do, pay your rent, pay your mortgage, pay your car note, help your kids in school, um, buy extra clothes, go on a couple more trips than you normally do, things like that. It will elevate your lifestyle and, and make it more, far more comfortable. But it might not be on like a J-Lo status. Like I'm looking at her. She's reminding me of J-Lo. Nike. God is Nike. But on this card, she reminded me of J-Lo. It might not be that level. But you might not want that level. So anyway, we're talking about May and we have May. Well, May right there. That's confirmation. I was thinking to myself, this is going to be happening in May. Prior to me seeing that. And that's confirmation that it will. On the other side of that says say, so you might be someone who speaks publicly, do something with your voice, sing, talk, um, do videos, whatever. Um, eat for everyone. Stop trying to be for everyone. That's killing your vibe. Stop trying to be for everyone. It's killing your vibe. There's a tribe of people that will love you just as you are for all your quirks. And everything. And it feels like you have a lot of quirks, Libra. <laughs> Together and on. Yeah, there's a tribe out there for you, Libra. I'm just realizing I didn't do your love. Should I do your love? Yeah, I'll do your love. Aliens. Star seeds. Um, you have star seed family watching over you, Libra. You may work in the medical field. Um, you you may like to get your hair done in different colors or have a unique style to yourself. Also, looking at these eyes, you have beautiful eyes, Libra. Male or female, beautiful. You got the tree of life. Family um, made with a smile. You might be doing something handmade or homemade. Keep it up. We have Hello Kitty with a violin. Music might be important to you. Let me see if I can zoom in. My my nails. <laughs> All right. Um, the Eiffel Tower. We talk about travel. It feels like you're gonna be planning a trip. Not so much traveling in May, but planning a trip in May. During the month of May. I talked about earlier about being slow and steady. Got a turtle here. Butterfly communication and transformation. Oh, yeah. We're definitely doing a love reading. Stick around for that. Seahorse. Lucky. There's some luck. There's some luck in your investments, Libra. Whatever you're investing in, keep it up. May, you might, okay, so May is not going to be, May seems to be more of a investment month where you're planting your seeds for it to flourish during your harvest, um, during the summer and fall. So if you're like, I'm not seeing it, I'm not seeing it, it's right on the screen right underneath the surface surface so keep it up libra you have so much luck jeez louise libra you have a ton of luck i'm hearing they can hate me now but they won't, that won't stop now you do have a lot of haters but it doesn't matter it does not matter because you have the key to success you just have to use the key <laughs> you just have to use it You're, music is important to you you manifest through music bet you didn't know that and if you did you're not using it properly as in you're not doing it so while you're making products because remember it's all handmade um while you're making your products listen to music while you're doing it while you're um coming up with new ideas you probably come up with new ideas while you're listening to music or someone is communicating through you music with you as well telepathically 
which we're going to get into with your love because I had two swans and I had the butterfly. There's a heart here as well that says handmade. So again, you might be making handmade products. If you are, keep it up. They said there's something else. Pumpkins. Um, pumpkin. Pumpkin. Something about pumpkins. Um, do work with, do spell work with pumpkin seeds. Or your ancestors like pumpkins, seeds or pumpkins. Like, honor them with pumpkins. Oh, and and this was um, a blank state, starting starting something new. Right. Four coins. Okay, you need to let that go, Libra. The tower and a hermit again with the hermit. You need to let this go. How you? <laughs> Whatever emotions you got hold you're holding on to like this um this righteousness i'm right they're wrong you need to let it go you're wrong how about that <laughs> libra like like what if you're wrong and you're holding on to being wrong because you're trying to prove a point because it feels like you're wrong about something there's a misconception here Three of Swords. But it's like, again, with the Three of Swords. So cards that are the same cards that are coming up in the earlier in the tarot readings. There's, um, what was I going to say? There's a misconception here with something that you feel like... You're worried that if you let it go, what's going to fill up that void? Because you think it's going to be more bad things that fill that void up. When in reality, the peace of mind that will come into play when you do let that go will be far more um, beneficial for you. Sorry, distracted, shadowing. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a doctor, but therapy may be something you could consider. I'm just picking up the energy on that. I am not a doctor. You are strong. You are stronger than you think you are, Libra. I know this is supposed to be a um, romance part of your reading, but that's self-love right here. All oh, this is about self love. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Ten of Swords at the bottom. Well, there we go. That's why it's sad. Yeah, you you've been through something very traumatic. You gotta leave space to heal. Libra, you could do both. You could hold on to the lessons of what happened so it doesn't happen again and heal. Because if you hold on to it, you're only letting that them win. Whoever caused all this drama and trauma in your life, because it's there. I mean, it was there before I saw it with the tower, but the Ten of Swords seals, seals the deal. You're leaving the knives in your back. They stabbed you in the back, but you're leaving the knives there. And it's like you're you're surrendering. But you need to fight. You need to fight, Libra. Please fight. Please don't let them win. They cannot win. Don't get them the satisfaction. If nothing else, hold on to that. Like I cannot get them the satisfaction. 
of winning. Forgiveness. Friendly support. You are worthy. Again, <laughs> this is self-love. Allow healing waters to wash away the pain of the past. A spiritual bath might do it. Um, or shower, a spiritual shower. But they're showing me the ocean. Or a lake. Basically a large stream of water. But if you don't have those resources to go to that, then shower it is. Or a bath it is, right? Um, preferably a shower. They're saying running water. So preferably a shower versus a bath. Your work doesn't depend on the other person. You are worthy. Is that why you're in isolation? You put yourself in isolation, Libra, because of this person? Hmm. You think they're too good for you? No. No, that is not the case, Libra. That is not the case. <laughs> not my Libra. Heck no. If anything, you might be too good for them. Anger is temporary. They shall, they still, they will, they, sh I can't even read my own handwriting. Anger is a t is temporary. They still adore you. Wiping the slate clean. They want to um, start something new. If you got to an argument with somebody or had like a miscommunication or I don't know, something where you feel off afterwards. Why did I say the things I said? Why did I do the things I did? You know, that type of vibe. They're okay. <laughs> they're okay. Um, they're not okay with you self-isolating. They're not okay with you not talking to them. They're not okay with you um, ghosting them. But they are okay with you. Like, they adore you still. Libra. You really talk down on yourself sometimes, don't you? Hmm. I have a candle called Fairy Kiss that you might be interested in. Um, this is Fairy Dust, it's reminding me of that. But a beautiful wish is being manifested or already or is already here. If you're trying to manifest somebody, it's uh, how can I say this for a collective? For some of you, that person is already here um, in your circle. But they're just not awakened. So that delusional feeling that you've been giving yourself, you're telling yourself, um, I thought they cared about me. I thought they loved me. I was delusional. You're not delusional. You're just ahead of your time. <laughs> they're just not awakened. And it's possible they may not awake. This partner may not awake in this lifetime. You know, it's with you, Libra. So, um, seek comfort in the fact that you're not being delusional about the energy you're picking up about this person. However, um, that does not mean this will happen in this lifetime. Collective reading, because for some it will, and for others it won't. 
you won't know until you know. <laughs> like, honestly and truly, when it comes to collector readings, you need to get a private reading to clarify some things. And in this situation, if you want to clarify, it, you need a personal reading because it's like 50-50. For some people watching this, you're going to connect with this person. You're going to hook up with them, whatever. And for other people, it's not going to happen at all because they're going to stay asleep. And you could be their dream person. Actually, it feels like you are their dream person, but they don't see it because they're asleep. Some are waking up. Again, like I said, get a personal reading. You can book a personal reading with me. Huh. I did not know there were stamps in there. I just opened up this box for the first time. The month of May is going to be your month to get yourself together, Libra. Um, that's the energy I'm getting. The self-love is so prevalent for you in the month of May. Like, I'm looking at all the Seller Scouts looking at Sailor Moon. Like, like you're like, you're the baddie in your group of people. And they're all waiting for you to figure it out. Similar to Sailor Moon's journey. All right, what else we have? This did thunder, clear the air. Um, don't hold back in expressing your thoughts. Hold back <laughs> on expressing your feelings. Libra, but don't hold back on your thoughts. If you need to set boundaries, set the boundaries. But um, be careful with your emotions, Libra. Please. In the month of May, I don't know why I'm telling you this like so adamantly, but it really feels like somebody needs to check their emotions more. And um, not let their heart lead them asunder and think more with your brain and act more with your brain be more logical play chess moves because libra when you're when you're on it you're always constantly playing chess moves but for whatever reason in may i'm feeling a you're gonna be far more emotional especially if you have a moon sign a water moon sign especially if you have a water moon sign i actually feel that's who i'm talking to right now if you have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, especially Scorpio, whoo, lordy. If you have a strong Scorpio placement in particular, but water, a strong water sign placement in general, be careful of your mount <laughs> during the first couple of weeks of May because especially around the new moon, they're telling me if um, the new moon is prevalent for you. Libra, be careful, especially at work. Remember we were talking about those people hating at work? Don't give them admonition, all right? Stay in your bag. I'm too afraid to talk to you. This is uh, messages from your person. They are waiting for you. I like, I lie away thinking about our future. <laughs> okay, um... I'm so confused by their energy. And if I'm confused, I know you're confused because it's like, I see why you are delusional about this. <sighs> I'm getting mad for you, Libra. <laughs> I'm getting mad for you because it's like, I'm picking up how confusing they are to deal with. Because it's clear they have feelings for you. Like, very strong feelings. They want to be with you. But I'm also picking up this very strong, stubborn streak of not caving in. Like, they feel like, uh, like um, in doing so, you'll win or something like that. Like, I don't know. Have I lost everything? You could if you don't wake up in time for before Libra moves on. Because I see you moving on, Libra. With them, without them, I see you moving on towards the end of the year. Um, 
they didn't want me to say that <laughs> they didn't want me to put a time on it I wonder if I should delete that but I see it happening no they said I could leave it I s- but they want me to be careful they don't want to I'm Libra the reason why they they want me to be careful with the time frame for you is because they don't want you to get stuck on time frames so if I say next week it's going to happen then you're going to be stuck on next week is happening they want you to focus more on being patient okay just FYI I know you from somewhere. I'm too afraid to talk again. Again. What are you hiding? Oh my God. They're hiding something. Love is the answer. Be more selfish. I told you they're being stubborn. But also it feels like they're... It's like you are a delicate flower. And they want to protect that delicate flower. I see them holding it like this. Don't squish it. Don't harm it. Like they're scared to like play with it and manipulate it. You. They're they're scared to sorry, I meant to try pod. They're scared to be around you. Not so much that like they put you on a pedestal. It's more like they're um like fragile, do not break. They see your relationship as fragile and they see you as fragile. And I worry that they're going to get the crummy hands on all over you and break you. And they're worried about that. That's what they're really worried about. They're worried they're going to hurt you and destroy you. With their taints. I'm seeing somebody with really dirty hands. Like not wanting to touch the flower because their hands are so dirty. Got the Ace of Swords. I need more balance. I just dream and wish for everything. So they want to make an offer. They want to communicate with you. I don't know if they will. Again, they're asleep, Libra. I don't want to give you false hope. I want you to have hope, but I don't want to give you false hope. Meaning like this would never happen. And I'm telling you it will. Because that would be unethical. But... They're, okay, so they they want you in their life, but they also don't want you. Make that make sense. So they push you away, but then when you listen and you pull away from them, they're looking around like, what happened? Where you were? What? And they try to blame you for walking away. Um, disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, but they need some therapy. <laughs> they need some, I'm, I'm picking up abandonment issues on their part. Or, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. I'm picking up something. Picking up something where they feel like they're, um... Sorry, I'm reading a notification. Notifications kind of help me during my uh, readings. I just got a notification on Facebook. They follow you online. They follow you online. That's also um, why they're so able to like stay there to keep their distance from you is because they spy on you online. Think before you act. I was talking about this before, Libra. Be careful with what you say and what you do because uh, it's really important. That's really important for you, especially, um, like I said, new moon time in particular. It feels like some kind of conversation is going to come up and you're going to word vomit if you're not careful. And that could catalyst, be a catalyst for things that you do not want in your life. So be very careful. Okay. Libra, I'm ending this reading here. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in um, purchasing a candle, magicalbutterflyspirit.com other items as well like i talked about the money spell kit that i'm working on i will be having cards on the website because spirit is telling me i will so look out for that as well thank you guys so much for being here i really appreciate you support me support my channel um, subscribe like share go to my website um, join the mailing list you can also join the patreon as well Um, the link is in the description or it should be anyway and i think that's it (laughs) 
Thank you guys so much. Hope you have a happy May. Until next time.